All right, so here is that uh, Aerospeed box fan I told you I was going to get. If you can remember a while back, a long time ago, I did videos on it way back in 2014 when I had the Comfort Zone version of it. Well, Cam Air still makes the box fan for Comfort Zone today. The BX100, the PBX100, uh, the CZ200A or the CZ200U. You remember all that, right? When I had it, it had all those problems. All those manufacturer problems, all those um, problems with the switch and the cabinet and all that. Well, it's been years since I even got this back. So I figured, well, let me go with the Aerospeed version of it, which is, of course, Cam Air's very own version of the fan that they produce. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what we got. I could tell you it's wrapped up really good right off the bat. So that's a good sign. Packaged well. Let's hope that the fan itself inside the original box is not damaged. Comes with some information. Some private information right here. I don't want y'all to see that. The reason why I don't want y'all to see that is because It had my address on there, and I don't want to. I want nobody to see my address. Basic information from Amazon. That you always see. Hopefully y'all can see the fan, okay. Let me see if I can, there we go. All right, so let's get it out and let's see what we got. As you can see, it's in one of these. That's a good sign. Let's see what we have. Which I probably don't realize is I paid a lot. This fan cost a lot. It's, it was $40 plus shipping and handling. Came out to be about $66 just to get it today. Yes, I did. I paid that much. And if you get on here being rude about that, I will block you immediately. So please don't give me no crap about that, all right? Just enjoy the video. I'm just letting y'all know. I don't want to see it. If I see it, you will be blocked immediately. Thankfully, it didn't cost all that. $40 is a little bit much for something that you can get at Walmart for like, what, $16? I understand that, but that's Amazon for you. Don't be rude about that. Some kind of information on the side of the box. 
I don't really need that. I'm not going to show the other side because, like I said before, I don't want nobody to see my address. But this is the invoice. I really don't even have to keep that either. Twice the sweat protection. Secret clinical. Trying to get it out of this plastic. Tell you one thing, they definitely package it up really good. Sure hope the fan is in good condition once I open it up. Glad they uh, made some improvements since I bought it locally. Uh, last time I got this, I got the comfort zone version. I never bought it off of Amazon. I bought it locally at Big Mo Big Lot. So this is the first time, and uh, whew, as much as I paid for it, they did a good job. Packaging it up well, I hope they gave me a good one. Can't read it because it's in Spanish. Some of it's in Spanish. BX100. Exact same box as it was before when I had the comfort zone. So much hasn't really changed. But let's hope that they made some improvements on the fan. Just the manual. I will be keeping that.
Well, like I said, nothing much has changed. I can tell you right now, there are some imperfections and don't expect anything to be perfect. Robert has a problem. Yep, there you go. Now, I have the same kind of problem on my um, Rather Shield by Lasco and on my uh, Premium, so I'm not surprised by that. There are some scrapes right here. Looks like it might have been something from the manufacturer. Why am I not surprised? Look at this. Look at, look at that. See how the grill is coming off? And you know what the sad part about it is, is this. Look. No screw. There's no screw in there. There's a screw right here. There's a screw everywhere else. But they failed to put the screw. Let's see, where is it at? Hold on a second. Right here. They failed to put the screw. And like some kind of food. I don't know if this was a used product or what. But let's see if the screws are in the back of it. Yeah, all but one screw is missing. All but one screw is missing. Let me see if I can find the screw. I don't think they gave it to Now, I'm going to have to screw this screw in, but thank God it came with the screw. Let me do that now. <clears throat> that shouldn't have happened. But again, you get what you pay for. If you're paying, really, this fan really only costs like, what, $13, $14, $15. I don't know why on Amazon they want to charge you 40 bucks for something that's basically garbage. But, whatever. Other than that. It seems to be okay. But we really won't know until we start running it. Let me get my screwdriver and screw it in. Right out the box. I'm free, so I knew it. I wasn't surprised by it. I already knew it. I told you the problems I had with it last time. And here we go again, right? Because arrow speed and comfort zone is the same box fan. I had to get some to clean it off. But some kind of food or something. Like, this. like residue. It looks like this one might have been used. Or it's either some kind of food or something. When I got my uh, 3720 for the second time, it actually had some kind of ink on it or something. I had to wipe that off. So. See if I can try to wipe all that off with some cleaner or something. I just want to get this screw in here and get this thing going so I can see if it even works. This 
these are thin crust pizzas so loaded with pepperoni and cheese. I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 Well, unfortunately, it's not catching. That's not good. Yeah. Same problem I have with the last one. The same problem I have with the last one. Thirty-seven twenty. Here we go again. Like it did catch. Okay. Well, no, actually, it did not catch. It did not catch. Because it shouldn't have came apart. Zelgen's XR can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma. Don't start Zelgen's XR if you have an infection. Your doctor should perform blood tests before and while taking Zelgen's XR and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor. Right off the box, running right into a problem. I knew it. I wasn't surprised by it. I knew something was going to happen. But I went ahead and took a chance and got this again. Knowing I knew what was going to happen. I figured the hole wasn't going to be made right for this thing to screw in and lock in. That was a problem I had last time with the comfort zone. So the screws came out. And I read reports and reviews on the screws coming out of these. So that means Cam Air is not a good company. And they was the buttholes that bought out Lakewood. Or Lakewood sold out to them. Which I don't understand why Lakewood did that in the first place. To a garbage fan company. It would have been better off if they did that with Alaska. The problem is this is not really centered, and uh, it's just not going to stay in there. So it might rattle. What was he like as a father? Was he loving? Yeah, there's no use. You see, it's still open. The hole is right there, but it's just no use. I don't know if the screw is too short or what the problem is. Well, that's the problem right there. <laughs> it's not even going in the hole. I wonder. It's still don't even go in the hole. It don't even go in the hole. The hole don't even line up. No wonder. Stupid, really? Hold on, y'all. The hole don't even line up. That's not even the hole for it. The hole for it is over here, which I don't know why it don't line up. See, it's going inside there, and that's not the hole. The 
hole is right here. He has to have backup in order to continue this. That's the hole. And then this is over here. They put the hole in the wrong spot. Was supported by the people around him. Which is really stupid. And no wonder they don't want to catch. You know that you're doing something wrong. Right? That you know that you're doing something wrong. And you have to create systems to protect yourself from being exposed. Did you ever meet his wife? Um, there were times where she'd be checking into the same hotel as me at the same time. She I wonder this thing don't want to catch. And I'd be Makes sense. Yeah. He kept us apart. He put the hole in the wrong spot. You have your team. You have your cover-up people. You have lawyers settling claims out of court. I'm not trying to be funny. You don't read and write well. So you're not booking flights. Who's booking these flights? Who's, who's telling the driver to go pick people up? Who's getting these hotels? He's not doing it on his own. I say, I know that you all knew about it. You know, everyone knew. And nothing was done. That's the I guess if you don't bother it, maybe it won't fall out. Let's see what happens. I try to tilt it. We work with him. See if that's going to fall out. This is what he wanted. So this is what well, it's not falling out, but it's not exactly know. in there either. Who's around? And you're aware. And you're not saying. You're just as sick as he is. Please understand. It doesn't make you any better because you're not doing it. If you're aware and you're not saying anything, you're just as sick. You've had these relations with young girls. There's a video. We're not talking about rumors at this point. We're talking about something that we can watch to this day. So it feels like they're taking a stand against black girls. It feels like they're taking a stance to say protecting Robert Kelly and his ability to make music and entertain fans means more than what he did in his private life with these little girls. Okay, so the bottom line is it's not going to fit because the screw is not lining up with the hole. So you might as well just take it out. Later. But that's probably the price you pay. They give you the screw, but yet they can't put it in the right whole area. So, I bought it off of Amazon. I sure ain't gonna go to that free show again. It is what it is. Anyway, let me uh, put the legs on this power it up. Let's see what we got. It's the same problem I have with my uh, last call, 37, 30, 3720, where the bottom part right here was kind of damaged. And so the back part wouldn't, the screw wouldn't fit in that, or it wouldn't even um, screw down. So whatever. It is what it is. That's what I come to expect. I didn't think nothing would change. Now you make it very hard for these feet to, to get in here. Alright, let's see what we got. 
So it might rattle, but oh well. It is what it is. That's what I did. Manufacturer couldn't even put the screw in right. This top part right here is way bigger than the cabinet. So it's, uh, they're still not making this fan right. Let's see what happens. I sure hope it works. <clears throat> Like somebody had it on. It was set to medium. Like this might have been used. Not, this is not even professionally done. I think they might have gave me a used one. And then from the manufacturer. Or refurbished. And from the manufacturer. They couldn't even put the screw in right. Same problems I had when I had that cover zone. BX100. Aerospeed. Or camera. And last time I were to buy one of these again. <laughs> but even Lasco's have their share of problems. Like on my Lasco 3720 and my Lasco 3723 have their own defects. So, anyways, let's see what happens. Now, the one thing I will say about this is I do like the fact that it has this a replaceable fuse. The Lasco don't have that, and that's pretty bad on their part. I didn't mean for the video to be almost a half an hour. I do apologize for that. But uh, here we go, and let's see what we have. Well, I can tell you one thing, Jordan, it shakes real bad, just like yours, bro. The blade is out of balance, but it has no startup sound. Yours do. I can't believe, I cannot believe that they wanted $40 for this piece of garbage. And then for shipping, they wanted even more. Wow. That is just crazy. But don't y'all get on here being rude about that or you will be blocked. Now, the shaking on this one is far worse than it is with uh, the Lasco Seems like it's pretty decent. The spend downtime seems like it's pretty decent. Um, I don't know. It's awful. Shakes real bad. The screw's not in its right place because the manufacturer missed um, the screw hole and they put it in a different area. It shakes really bad. I mean, the, the blade is out of balance. But oh well, it is what it is. I got it now, so I definitely can't return it. And I sure ain't gonna go through all the trouble. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Rule comments will get you blocked immediately. God bless you and go. All right. Well, here it is. And no, it don't rattle with that missing screw, thankfully. It does shake pretty badly, but it doesn't fall over because it's on its legs. It does use a different motor. It has a very faint startup sound. It has definitely different air holes in the back of it. The air holes are not closed up. It's all open so that the motor can breathe and the fan won't die. I'll show you that tomorrow when I do part two.
So right now I'm running it on low because it's late and I'm getting ready to go to bed. But it does work on all three speeds. I'll show you quickly. This is low, medium. Moves the air quite well for an out of balance, out of balance fan. And finally, high without it rattling because it's missing the screw. But I got the screw, but I can't put it in here because the buttholes that made this put the hole in the wrong area. Well, at least they was nice enough to give me the screw that came with it. So it's not enough to try to get a refund or anything. It is usable. It does work. It moves a lot of air. And like the first time I had a box fan that shake real bad. And remember the last call, 3733. And I'm going to put it back on. Actually, it does have a faint startup sound. Let me see if I can get it from the back. Once it spins down, it's not all that great. Jordan, yours is way louder. But I think yours is a way much older model. The spin down is decent. The blade is out of balance. Sometimes the blade is out of balance, sometimes it's not. So let's see what we can do here. I'll put it right here. Try to hold it up to the motor, and here we go. By the way, that's the motor housing. So let's see what we can do on high speed. Well, hopefully you heard it. It's very faint, but it's there. Capacitor is not big enough. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This is part two. I like the fan. I'm satisfied with it. It shakes. So what? It doesn't fall over as long as it don't fall over. I like the Lasco 3733. This one's a lot better in a lot of ways. But I just wish the blade wasn't out of balance. And I wish the manufacturer would wake up and stop sleeping and put the screw holes where it belongs. I'm not saying all of them are like that, but this particular one is. All right, well, that's it. The Aerospeed, the Comfort Zone, whatever other brand names that Camera makes it for. God bless you and go home.